Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of Neotech. And I'm thinking it might be time to maybe start up some Pam stuff. Really just a quick baked turnip is all we can make out of this. Wow, okay. Um, that way I can narrow down what's actually useful and what's not. And we can get a bit of a, a, little bit of a kitchen going. I got chickens and pigs over here now. Yeah, I really need to narrow down what's useful and not because of the way that the harvesting works. And one thing I noticed about this, uh, what is it, stepping or whatever it's called? Yeah, stepping enchantment is you can walk over fences with it, which is really cool. Oh, and you laid an egg. Cool. So we got our animal farming started anyway. And... Got my ore processing set up. Uh, the pipes are a bit fun. You have to... I figured this out off camera, but... To right click with an empty hand, and then you have to set this to blacklist mode enabled for them to work. And you have to do that on both ends of the pipe. So they have built in filtering, which is cool. But they default to not connecting to anything, and then to an empty whitelist, so that they still won't move items until you figure out that little trick. We've got copper in here now. Yeah, we got a good amount of copper saved up. Good. Does tungsten not cook in this thing? No, tungsten. What? Okay, we have to break it down into dust and then compress it. Oh, okay, tungsten's fun. kind of annoying. All right. Makes sense. I mean, tungsten is a pretty hard metal, so. All right, well, got my doors fixed too. Had to break and replace them. So one thing I figured out as well, when I was out yeah, messing around and exploring, the storage crates have to be sealed now. To do that, you have to shift right click them multiple times. And yeah, they're only sealed once. After you pick them up, place them back down, they're no longer sealed. Or it may be... Yeah, okay, now it's still sealed. So I'm going to say it may be if you open it, but... It doesn't give the message anymore. So default behavior on these things has changed. Also, yeah, it's enchantments, this is extra equipment, potions, more equipment stuff. We have a lot of diamond axes now, including a silk touch one. All right, though. Um, I think it was like this. Yeah, there's our roller. Now I can use this thing to make flour out of a bunch of stuff. Also, apparently pasta. But we can get cooking oil out of all well, these six things, including pumpkins. Uh, canola from Pam's. Okay, gives extra oil. And then nuts give cooking oil as well. Which is good, because we have that cashew tree not too far away. And cooking oil is actually relatively useful, including we can make torches out of it using cattails. Uh, I think I'm going to go with batter for a lot of recipes, because, well, I need a cow. But um, it's flour, egg, and milk, as opposed to needing salt. Do we have the, the water filter? Any chance? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That used to be a thing in Pam's. And, uh... You have cooking for blockheads. Which is going to be helpful. Eat, uh... You would put in... I forget what they're called. The pieces of cloth you can make from string, right? into the filter, and it would give you fresh water and salt items. But seeing as Pam's doesn't actually have a salt anymore. Modern industrialization, and yeah, that's it. Right. 
which we can only get from the ores. So since I have to go mining to make bread, yeah, it's not going to be a thing I do very often, if at all. But the good news is, um, I think it was only 12 items we figured out that we need for max, or it only counts last 12 items for diversity. So, I really shouldn't need to worry about it all that much. All right, let me... Yeah. Let me start working on, like, a house of some kind, I guess. All right, well, a little bit of time has passed, and... We got villagers. Ow. I love how whenever they actually sight down their crossbow, they, like, basically close one eye. Alright, um, well, I got an almost banner anyway. So, before I go to a village, uh, let's go find a cow. I think they were up here. Apparently we can eat cooking oil as is. Not sure how I feel about that. Are these peaches? Oh, pomegranate. Okay, let me go ahead and grab these one here too. I missed one. Right, I could have sworn I harvested eight off of that tree. Maybe it was only seven. Hmm. Oh well. All right, guys, where are you at? Well, there's a sheep that way. And cows. Okay. Yep, there they are. Hey, sweet. Fresh milk. Oh yeah, counter jar is the thing. Doesn't show the recipe, but it's pretty pretty certain to be the usual recipe. Make a jar, put a cow on top of it, drop an anvil on the cow. You know, actually that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and grab that now. Head back to base. Alright, so what are some uses for you? Make pomegranate tree if I get one more. Make vinegar. Okay, that's handy, because, you know, ingredients. Trail mix. Fruit punch, fruit salad, and nomadic craft drone. So I found out, going through the recipe book, that A, I need diamonds to make the cooking for blockheads cooking table. All right. Not a huge problem, I kind of expected that. Uh, diamonds we can make as soon as we get into nomadic craft, because we can make them in a pressure chamber. So, uh, let's see. I've got a lot of quests to claim here. Oh, Spice of Life actually is a thing. Hands fertilizer, chicken head, camera and brew, speeding trough, counter jar, market, harvest time. Village loot from the Amazon network. Okay. So we actually need the garden item itself. Got it. That'll give us four cloches, though. Then cooking for blockheads, too. Yeah, we need this thing. Requires diamonds. Plus a smelted book, which is not really a problem. I think I've got a few books laying around. But I did go ahead and start working on a house. Well, 
not a house. It's a kitchen, like external kitchen. And right now it's just walls. <laughs> so but then I saw the pillagers. I was like, you know, I got to go take care of those guys. I was hoping that it would actually drop something better. But uh, yeah, not a lot of luck there. So that's just a, a small 5x4 interior space, and that should do the job for us, really. And we are going to need a lot of copper, which is good, because we have a lot of copper. I could speed this up with gunpowder, but there's just honestly not much point. And it's actually very energy efficient, so... It doesn't waste the coal, which is nice. Here, I need you to go here. All right. Kind of weird. I haven't seen a guardian since that first one. And yeah, I've still got stuff to put away. But we do have basic to iron tier storage upgrades, which will be handy. Uh, let's see, I did go ahead and make a bunch of terracotta. Are you a thing? Yeah, you are. Nice. I need some of these, and that's just regular stone on top, so. We'll just make three for now, but now at least I'll have a place to put, you know, my food products in. Just plank, okay. Now, if nothing else, I can at least uh, store milk in the milk jar until I actually get a cow into it. Getting a cow into it is going to require an anvil, which shouldn't be that bad, really. I had one right there. <laughs> Dang it. I made an extra one. Oh, I got a crossbow. Like no durability left to it. All right, and what are you anyway? Gadgets against grind, grind pigment jars. It needs to be filled up. Add some dye with grind us some dye with flint and then add milk. Okay. Gains four charges of said dye. Okay. So we can use that to make our dye stretch further. Alright, cool. Did this actually that got rid of my speed effect whenever I drank milk? So other things to make is an oven, but I need black stained glass for that. It has to be black. Uh, we can make a sink pretty easily, though. Let me go ahead and make the milk jar. That way it frees up my bucket. And those glass panes, so... No, it's glass blocks. Dang it. Is it iron? It's iron. Okay. Give me that back. Thank you. And we'll put the sink like right, oh, right here. Right. Has water particles, so that is an infinite water source. No, it's not. Oh, they got rid of that. 
I hate it whenever packs turn this off because it makes the sink useless. Yes and no. I have to pump water into it now. I wonder if these are auto output to the back. They might be. But, uh, I mean, we do have a water pump. I also got this tank here. Apparently the tank, or the pump, is filling the tank and the boiler directly. I wasn't sure if it would actually do that, and yeah, it does. So I can get rid of these fluid pipes here. Did that seriously just get rid of the water source block there whenever I picked up the... It did. When I picked up the pipe, it got rid of the source block. All right, so what else do I want? Uh, probably a corner piece, right? Yeah, kitchen connector. I am one piece of terracotta away. And what the hell? Are you like, do I need to place you like that? Okay, yeah, we're just going to put that down to being like probably alpha version for 120. 121 or whatever the hell we're in. I think 20... I don't know. I think it's 1.20.4. Alright, so let me look back to here. Um, what were you? Oh, glazed carrots is bad. Alright. Um, pressure chamber is... Okay. I just need some of these, which is compressed iron curved pipes. Or, or plate. Which I need a compressor to get into. Okay. So. Need this guy. Bronze compressor. Uh, the forge hammer. Can we? Yeah, it looks like I can do everything. Okay. So yeah, I don't really need this thing then. Now that I have a macerator, I don't need to smash my ores on that either. So uh, I need fluid pipes, I need copper gears. I picked the thing up way too early then. I'm just missing the forge hammer and then this guy, so I need I need bronze now. Well, you know, I've got a good amount of bronze saved up. Do I still have a bronze ring over here? I do. Okay. I just need this thing. Compressor. Once you know the steps, it actually gets pretty easy to start spitting these things out. And it opens up the dimension hopping quest because we've got these diamond plates. Which we can use for a few things. Uh, oh, we have laser I.O. Cool. This is why it gave us two diamond plates, though. I need two 10 large plates. I need five 
gold curved plates, two diamond plates to make the catalyst from the undergarden. So I go here and click here and boom, boom, enter the undergarden. Make the catalyst, it'll give me enough stone bricks to make the portal frame with and a nature's compass, which is kind of handy. Also visit the nether, visit the end, or um, I vendor. So stronghold first, I'm guessing, then visit the end. All right, and then there's all a bunch of stuff in the undergarden. Undergarden diamonds. Smelt directly, two diamonds. High levels, around Y12, 112 and up. Well, that's cool. That might be the easier way to get diamonds for right now then. Grab that out. Let me go ahead and get my compressor down here. Hook it up to steam. We got steam. Filling back up pretty quickly. Why did it make this thing so tough? Thank you. Oh, it was a light source too. <laughs> All right, so yeah, show recipes. And then depending on how I run things through here, we can do that. Oh, I can, uh, yeah, I can do my black quartz now too. I've got some of that black quartz or laying around. We go there. You are taking a really long time to get through all this. The nice thing is, you know, I can actually process it. I just drop the stuff in here and eventually come back and it'll be over here. So it's, not a huge deal. All right, so we needed a uh, gold curved plates, right? Do I have any? I've got gold. All right, so let's just drop you into here for now. That is actually quick, though. Good, I was right. Just a one to one. Am I supposed to make like a ring, right? Like, uh, actually, I don't have any rings left, huh? What the? Huh? Oh, they clicked over to craftables. Okay. Or off of craftables. In the compressor, it is a copper rod, which is a double ingot. In the cutting machine. Okay, so I need another machine now. Need this thing. So I do need another forging with anvil thing. Great. That's lovely. Now, how to make large plates, right? These guys. It's just four ten plates. Okay. Um There you go. You go into there for now. Guess in the meantime I can kind of move stuff around. Man, I like nothing going on here. Is spider eye soup still a thing? No, they got rid of spider eye soup. What the hell? It was like the best pan recipe. You can make it just with drops from a mob farm. It was awesome. Just bones and a spider eye. And... Let me put my pipes in here too so I know where they're at. There we go. Actually, let's not grab the seeds and stuff. Man, pumpkin pie kind of sucks.
Probably pull some cows over too. Good mushroom. All right. I think I'll have milk close by. Whenever I want to make the cow in a jar, instead of having to try to corral a cow over there. Flame ball. Okay. Scintillating goo. Okay. Flame ball we can get by aloe, which I think I can get from arid gardens. Really? Biomass plus clay equals slime now. Well, that's cool. Chemical reactor. Steam quarry with a ferrocore sword. And pressure chamber. Actually, additions a rice slime ball is a thing. It requires a steel mixer. Uh, we could make the bronze mixer here. Why is the cutting machine after the mixer? Oh, because you need lubricant. Okay, yeah. That makes sense then. Fluid pipe and a hopper. Okay, cool. Hopper. Exploring. I never did claim these. <laughs> Probably not going to right now either. No chocolate pie I'll take. I'll take the XP too. Okay, you should be done. Good. Need for building gadget too, huh? Analog circuit. Oh, good lord. Okay. Building gadget's a little ways away. One ticket, please. Okay, we'll go back to... Where's that? Um, dimension hopping, right? You're going to give me the bricks I need to make the portal after I go to the undergarden, right? or undergarden. That's not fair. Go and drop this off into here for now, because... Really know their use for at the moment. I could just bite the bullet and try to corral a cow in the world. Great. There's illagers by my cows now. What did you just kill? He just killed something over here. Was it a cow? Did, did the jerks kill a cow? Hey, speaking of which, cow, come here. Go that way. Go. go. I should have brought some weed over. I really should have. Well, you know what? Grab that. Too slow. They never sit still long enough, and they never stand directly on a block either. Get in your corner. I did not mean to drop you like that. Dang it. All 
All right, cow. Welcome to your new home. That was weird. Sat through the world there for a moment. So I can use bananas in place of eggs for batter. Oh, that's kind of cool. And that's pretty standard recipe there. I'm not going to bother making more of the Pam things for right now because um, I don't have the, the cooking table yet. Also, I need quartz to do the kitchen floor with. And if I you know get a kitchen floor, I don't have to worry about this weird funky connector in the corner. That was I just left clicked it with a block of dirt. Oh, now you work. Okay, that was really being odd. All right, so we've got some good food on us. I should be able to. Let me do that now, I guess. I just want to make a spider proof roof on this thing real quick, so I'll Dang it. So I'll care about it looking good later. Of course, now it echoes in there. They made it out of stone. Oh, and I had extra anvils too, man. Is there a way to recycle these things? Uh, force rod looks like, okay. Oh, pretty pipes filter, okay. I need four of the four anvils for mod filter modifier, okay. Filter by mod, yeah. Why do you need four anvils for that, though? It's kind of expensive. Anvil upgrade for the backpack. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's two anvils. Steve's carts. That is something I'm actually looking forward to. Um, it's actually doable right now. At least the assembler is. I got a couple of dolphins now. Yeah, you know, I just realized there's a ton of stone bricks out there. I didn't need to do this, but oh well. All right, so I have to make a frame from stone bricks, and then activate it with the catalyst. We're leaving the catalyst behind just in case something happens. That was a really interesting portal noise it made too. Uh, here. Get my milk jar put away. That I'll. Bring the hammer, I guess. Nah. Leave that behind. I do have stuff in my backpack still, but... That's mainly because I don't have anywhere else to put it. you got to be kidding me. It doesn't save the cow? Oh, that is annoying. That is really annoying.
And of course I'm up in a tree. So I need to go up there if I want to find diamonds. Do I have... I've got... Yeah, I got some dark first rain. I guess that'll work. The Gloom Gourd, huh? Here we go, and then Under Beans. This reminds me a bit of Erebus. Hello, um, Rot Beast. Birth control? I'm not sure I want to know. Oh, there's a lot of you guys around here. Okay. Leave me alone. You stay down there. Closer, you jerk. Thank you. Depth Rock Pebbles. Nine equal Depth Rock. Or I can make coarse deep soil. What is this I've been picking up? Utheric shards. Okay. What are you good for? Teleporters, but I need ender shards. Okay. Quartz plays gold. All right. Utherium crystal. Okay. Deals one and a half damage to rot spawn. And it deals seven and a half attack damage as it is. Plus, plus reach. Okay, I've got enough for one crystal now. Biverstone. It is hard to see the grass in this dimension. Also, what is... what are you? Stoneborn, but you're almost dead, it looks like. That was not a good sound. Oh, hello. Giant cave. Rotling, okay. Under bean bush, there we go. Then quest complete. Yeah, I've noticed that with questing packs. They tend not to get the, the value right on a... Uh, potions. So it detects any potion. Bucket it up and refine it into crude oil for processing. They have mushroom bogs. Okay. Crystal and then there's Utherium gear. Better than Diamond tier and deals additional damage to rot spawn of all types. Good enchantability. All right, cool. I mean, I might stick with my gold armor for now because it's never going to break on me. But yeah, get some more beans. We'll grab some wood as well, I guess, while we're here. I'm really liking this diamond axe. And the fact it's got mending on it's even better. Alright, and we got twisty two eggs. 
which we can use in place of string, it looks like. Okay, I mean, that's useful enough, I guess. We used a slingshot ammo, that's nice. Don't know how to get to goo, that's probably a mob drop. Definitely some uh, funky trees, that's for sure. I just watched you kill something, so. Shimmerweed. Hmm. Didn't drop anything. Miserabel. Light blue dye. Or sacred salve. It's probably any flower, though, right? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Player effect stops nearby hostile mobs from spawning. Okay. Ogrum ore. We can macerate that, okay. Wow, really? The dust just simply become. It just goes, oh yeah, it, it has a tag on it. Like, what am I supposed to do with this stuff? Apparently, nothing. Okay, so don't bother. Whoa. What the? Shiverstone is like smooth like ice. Okay. That could be good for. Pathways. I can go make a sword now. All right, cool. I don't think I have to go and make a sword. Hello. Sneaky little guys. Because right, I got this, I can just make a crafting table, right? Can you imagine spawning in this dimension? That works as string, not sticks. Um, I don't actually have any sticks. Well, that'll give me two more anyway. I guess some stuff I don't really need right now. Boom gourd pie. Okay. Local vegetation. Under shrooms. Okay. That's a veiled mushroom. Okay, yeah, that did count. All right. Just took the quest book a while to catch up. Ocean of brittleness. The higher value the victim's armor is, the more damage they will take. Well, cool. sounds like something not to hit yourself with. Locate the catacombs. All right. Ancient labyrinths was catacombs. You can find them most commonly near the ancient seas, but occur in most biomes. A lot of hostile monster monsters and a lot of loot. Okay. So I went straight up and... <laughs> Found diamonds right away. And it's actually just dropping diamonds. I thought I had to smelt this stuff first. I've got four diamonds already. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. This thing required an assembler, didn't it? Yeah. And four diamond plates. So I need... I have enough diamonds to make this now. Now this gear... The Ethereum gear is supposed to be stronger than diamond. So, I should probably get a few more of these shards so I can make a pick out of it. What is that right there? I 
I just realized something. Thank God this vein mining enchantment. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, when mining. It doesn't work on planks. That would have really sucked. Um, that would have been horrible. Here you down there, little guy. Where are you exactly? There you are. Uh, it was over this way for the thing, right? The structure I saw. Yeah, I think so. Well, death rock bricks, okay. Did that slow me down? Oh yeah, because it's the shiver stone. Okay. It's a three shot versus a four shot now. Which I guess is okay. Be better once I can get an enchantment table. Hello, guy. That makes a big difference on those guys. But we have enough to make a pick now. Which means I might be able to mine obsidian. I should be able to. Is that leak? Yeah. So deep soil, I got shiver stone, depth rock, depth rock pebbles, okay. Level six harvest level. Level 4 harvest levels. So yeah, that is higher than diamond. Sweet. I can put those things away for now. And we've got diamonds now. I'm not sure what to do with much of this crap. So gloom gourds. I can use it to make a market, but I need a villager from easy villagers. Okay. I need iron sheet metal slabs, which we can just make out of iron plates. Very easy. Blaze Gold, that is a different uh, story altogether. I've not played with this mod before. Just Dire Things. I did look at what Dire posted about that. But, uh, that's about as far as I got. And it was a while ago, so. Well, that is from Pam's, okay. So, I needed the Cooking for Blockheads book. This guy. Actually, I think you're like this, right? There we go. And then we need more terracotta and more stone. I am kind of sort of out of terracotta now. Yeah. Unfortunately. I have not found a mesa biome either, so it means I have to go deep sea. Well, deep sea, you know, honestly. Not that deep, probably. Hello, fish. There's some clay right here. And now I have Aqua Affinity and Respiration. So, can I... There we go. I'm trying to get it to let me stand. Yeah, 
I knew some of you escaped. There you go. I only needed like five blocks of clay, so. We're good. What I would love to find right now is a uh, book of depth strider. What keeps killing fish in the area? Get my hands on some depth strider, then all of a sudden water locomotion becomes so much easier. So, Boom Gourd Pie, I need a Mushroom, Boom Gourd, and Glitter Kelp, which I think I see or seen while I was down there, but, uh, yeah. Then Blister Bombs for a Boom Gourd, okay. Brewing for a Potion of Virulent Resistance, okay. And then, yeah. Dweller Steak, yeah, I have not seen a Dweller yet. realize I don't have any stone either. I used up all my stone. Alright, come on now. Hurry up. I am going to need these guys now. So iron nuggets and wood slabs. And let's go ahead and do that, I guess. We'll get some more slabs going. The inspiration for most mod packs. Hey, look at all the things we can make now. Apparently I can make fresh water, I just can't scoop it out of this with a bucket. That's a thing, I guess. Uh, apparently this, but yeah, missing oven to cook. Okay. But I can make seeds in here too. Oh, that's handy, I guess. Sugar from sugar cane. If I do it in here, I can do, I can actually uh, get double efficiency. You can go there. I do have some sugar cane here that I need to get planted and growing. Uh, we have a wolf fairy. Where the hell did I even get that from? Let's say. White mushroom from Pam's. Let's also, I guess, grab some of this stuff out. And then I'm also going to need to make more utensils. And I need to find my rolling pin wherever I left that out. Is it in here? No, it was probably here then. Rolling pin and mixing bowl can go there. And so we can make cooking oil, we can make cream with a mixing bowl and fresh milk. Just go ahead and make eight. I need to get a cow over here. That or I need to just take my silk touch axe out and see if that works. Can I plant potatoes yet? If not, I better. Really better. Yeah, 
Ithaca and Chia. Yeah. Not really worth it. That's why I said I need to go through my garden and determine what's good and what's not. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.